Both of these compasses are known as base plate compasses, though this one is a mirrored base plate compass. On the sides, you may see these rulers. This actually measures inches and this measures miles on a one in 24,000 scale. And that just depends on the compass that you buy. This is a corner scale. This is used for getting coordinates off of a map with a grid coordinate system overlaid onto it. Here we have the workhorse of the compass. This is the bezel. This lets us know how many degrees we'll be using, which way the compass is pointing, and it should be able to turn freely. We'll use this when taking readings with the compass. Of course, here is the magnetic needle. This is what makes the whole thing work. Here we have the orienteering arrow. This will help us set what direction we're traveling and identify what direction we're traveling. Next, we have orienteering lines. If you are using a map with a grid system, a grid coordinate system overlay, you will use these lines to align your compass to north and south. This is a very important feature. This is our index notch. You'll see here we have a straight line, but we also have a bit of an arrow pointing on it. This lets us know where we get our reading from when we are turning the bezel and aiming the compass and trying to find out what direction or bearing or azimuth we are 